Hi guys, YouTube user 67TR876 wanted to see my uh, this box fan that I've made a while ago. He's making one quite similar to this. Uh, yeah, it's basically just a, uh, this is a 1 6th horsepower um, induction motor, 1725 RPM, driving an old uh, fan blade out of a uh, big 480 volt heater, just inside a pretty simple wood box. Almost, it's almost exactly like the one he's building. I think he'd be interested, interested in seeing it. Yeah, and simple mesh uh, grills, but flimsy. Let's give this a run. It's pretty noisy. The plane runs quite fast, but it does blow quite a bit of air. I used this. Uh, I initially built this when I was building Tesla coils to uh, remove the ozone from the room, and it worked quite well. And the most recent use was actually when the uh, Edison air conditioner, when the condenser fan motor went out. Uh, it took me a few days to get a find this motor in a scrap air conditioner, and I set up this fan blowing air through the uh, condenser coil to keep us to keep us cool for a few days. I've also put a circle or. A around the uh, fan blade to help for it to stop air from coming back and going around so it's when you're when there's a lot of pressure drop across it it blows more air. Okay, that's enough left. Let's turn this off. Let's just take a look at the power consumption. About 300 watts. And how many amps? 5.4 amps, quite a lot of current, so the power factor is quite poor on this for some reason. Probably because the motor is uh, doesn't have a capacitor. Let's try to get uh, some idea of how much airflow this uh, fan is producing. I borrowed a anemometer thermometer from work. This is actually a thermo anemometer. It's quite ingenious. It's just a uh, two temperature sensors, one there and one in here. This one has a heating element built in too, or may just be a thermistor. But what they do is they measure the temperature difference between the two, and the lower the temperature difference, the faster the airflow, because the more the uh, heated one is cooled. And that's calibrated to read in meters per second or feet per second. So let's give this a try. This blade is about 14 inches diameter, so converting that to square meters, it's a, just under 0.1 square meters, so times the 11.5 uh, uh, meters per second gets us about 1.14 cubic meters per second. Converting that to uh, CF uh, cubic feet per second. About 40 cubic feet per second times 60 should get CFM. So it's about 2400 CFM or so. Actually, because the uh, airflow in the center of the blade is slower, it's pro the actual value is probably lower. It's probably something around maybe 1700 or 2000 CFM. Let's try to approximate the airflow on this fan now. Carefully hold this in place. This produces 
around 16 meters per second or so, say say 17. And let's calculate that out now. This fan is 20 inches, so 20 inch diameter fan has a uh, has an area of about 0.2 square meters times 17 meters per second is 3.4 cubic meters per second times 3.27 cubed to get cubic feet per second, 120 cubic feet per second times 60 to get CFM. So that's about 7,000 CFM. And again, probably because of the slow air from the center, maybe 5,500 to 6,000 in real life. So that's quite a bit of air. Let's give a couple of different blades a try. This is uh, the blade that was actually used with this uh, motor originally in the air conditioner. And I also got another one over here that was from a different air conditioner. Let's see how big these are. This one is about 18 inches or so. And this one is also 18 inches. And let's give this a try. About the same noise as the other one. It probably blows air faster because it has a higher pitch, but it's a smaller uh, diameter. Yeah. Not as much airflow as the other blade. Let's take a look at the airspeed. The air flows about the same speed on this one as it is on the uh, bigger fan, about 18 meters per second. And that results in a calculated CFM of about 6200. And let's try the other blade. And here's the other blade. Let's get this going. This one is definitely noisier uh, than the other blade and also blows noticeably less air. Let's take a look at the airflow on this one. This one's only about 14 meters per second or so. Say 15.5 or so. And that results in a calculated CFM of about 47.50. Let's also take a look at the uh, power consumption. I'll do it for this one and I'll redo it uh, for the other blade. And the original, the big blade was about, uh, what was it, about 400 watts minus plus the 25 watts drawn by the Variac. We're drawing about 280, so it's about 255 watts actually drawn by the motor. And let's measure the power draw of this one. So it is well, it was about 100 watts more than the other one at about 350 watts. Oh, maybe a bit less coming down. Maybe 340 or so. I hope you've enjoyed this video on uh, this box fan and uh, CFM measurements. Thanks for watching.